I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> What's up guys welcome back to the channel check this thing out this is the tbs oblivion some of you guys have seen it if you have been living under a rock you probably haven't seen it but trappy released this one a few months ago and i've had several of these in my shop i finally got one built i've got some sick gear on here i've got the hglrc dvr at the very top of this stack with an ax2 on the back I've got Brother Hobby motors that are capable of 4 to 6 S. Those are 2205, 1750 KVs. Those are super nice. I'll try to put some links down below to some of the gear I used on this build. And I have the Dow RC F405 all-in-one flight controller that's dampened. And I've got 40 amp ESCs on here. We are going to test it out with a graphene battery today and we'll do some line of sight flying with this. And we'll also do some FPV. But if it's indestructible as they say it is, that's a really good thing for me, because if you've seen me fly, I break just about everything. Here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get it off the ground. You know, you guys can build this quad any way you want for any type of different application. You can do it for long range, you can set it up for that. This is what I have it set up for is a long range application. Even on a 4S 1300, I'm getting well over five minutes flight time. My 1500, I'm running into like eight minutes flight time. So if you wanna put a TBS crossfire on here and do some long range up the mountain, down the mountain type of stuff, this is the way to set it up for that. And I'll show you a little bit more about that a little bit later. You can also set it up for multi-GP style racing if you wanna add those higher KV motors and get a little faster quad out of this. This type of setup, it's not gonna be as punchy as your typical race setup, but you have plenty of flight time. And that's kind of what I'm looking for here because eventually the next trip that we take, we're gonna take this one out somewhere in the mountains with some crossfire and do some mountain style uh, cliff dives. But I think it's actually doing pretty good. This is my maiden flight and it's super punchy the way it is. I don't really need it to be super fast or aggressive and I don't want it to eat up the battery. So uh, let's go ahead and set it down now and I'll show you some of the FPV with this TBS Oblivion. Here we go. All right, the flying section of this review. Let's go ahead and get this Oblivion up in the air. And we can talk about some things about the build on this quad. The build on this quad, it was a little bit of a hassle in the very back where the battery terminal goes through right by where the SMA connector is supposed to kind of screw down to this little faceplate they have. Everything seems really close together and it's really, really tight in the back back there. And I didn't want that video feed that wire, the antenna wire, right next to the power source. I feel like that was kind of a weird design. Um, maybe they should have moved that up some. Maybe even have it come off the back of the sort of helmet canopy thing that they have on the back of this frame. It probably would have been a better spot. So what I did was I actually punched a hole in the back of this canopy with my solder and I just went straight through there, fastened down my SMA connector like that. I've seen other people do it that way and it's probably the best way to do it. It's also gonna raise up your video antenna away away from the power source so if you do intend on flying this long range you're probably not going to have as much interference uh, because getting that video source away from any power setup is always the best option now mine is set up for that long range type of quad situation that i have with the 1750s and the 6s and this is going to be my five inch long range and before I've been flying long range for years and I've never taken a long range five inch quad out with me, mainly because I wasn't really getting the flight time that I was satisfied with. If I'm not getting over 10 minutes for an aircraft for long range application, especially if I'm gonna do some slow flow or something like that for our contest coming up, um, I'm not going to take a quad out that only flies three minutes. But on Trappy's website, he claims that they get around 11 minutes flight time on their power setup 
And you know, their bind and fly, their plug and play option actually is um, like $2.99. That's not super bad. Uh, they have a, a fully outfitted TBS Tango version you can get. It's $5.99. And that gives you crossfire and everything on that one. It also has a display in the middle of the remote. It's kind of a badass controller. I've seen it. A friend of mine, Jeff, has it. Um, and it's cool because you can flip on that Tango and you can see your camera view right there on the, the radio. So you can check out your camera before you even put your goggles on to make sure you don't have a black a blackout on your uh, VTX, which is super nice. But um, Team Black Sheep stuff, very, very nice, high quality stuff. And um, I've been using Crossfire for years and it, it works great. I've never had a fail safe actually, um, so knock on wood about that. But this quad is flying awesome. It, it's flying like I, I just, have tuned this thing and I haven't done any PID tuning on it yet. The F405 is doing really good in FPV. It feels like a quad that I've had for months and that I, I did some work on. And, and that's amazing to me that I don't have a whole lot of vibes. So I'm actually, I'm able to freestyle this quad, which it's not really what it's built for. Uh, if you want to freestyle and race, you're, you're probably going to want to get some higher 2700 kV motors, maybe some 2600s. Um, but I, I would probably, if I was going to set up for long rates, definitely go for the Brother Hobby 2205 1750s. Those are probably just about perfect. And if you motor down a little bit on a 5 inch like that, 2205 is totally fine for getting a longer flight time. But this thing is dialed in big time. So I, I think it's a really awesome quad. Um, definitely a 5 out of 5 stars for Team Black Sheep on this one. This one is one badass. Uh, multiple use quad you can get the frame I think for around 29 bucks and, and add your own gear so you can go crazy as you want and add all your own stuff but this is my review my first review for the TBS Oblivion guys hopefully you enjoyed it I think it's a really kick-ass quad so I'll see you on the next one take care